In News 10 and For Your Health today, whether it's the swine flu or the regular flu, a record number of people are finding themselves in bed instead of at school or at work. Well, today our fitness consultant, Dr. Mike Ormsby, joins us to talk about what exactly we should eat, drink, or do when we or someone we love is homesick. And you know the old saying, feed a cold, starve a fever. First of all, is that true? That's right. Uh, that's been around for a long time. and it, We think it comes from the old idea that when you had a cold, your body temperature would drop. And so feeding yourself uh, would uh, raise your body temperature and bring you back to normal. And likewise, with a fever, you have a high temperature, so not eating should drop your body temperature. But that's actually uh, not the case. And in both instances, it's going to be important to get proper nourishment, um, one, so you have energy to fight the flu or the cold, uh, and two, just to nourish yourself in general so that you have enough real energy to um, have a chance against it. So drink and eat in both cases, the healthy stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you, you really can't get away with, uh, I don't think anyone would recommend not eating if you have either of those cases. But with the flu, it's sometimes difficult because a lot of times uh, you're not hungry anyway. Yeah, or you can't keep it down. All right. right. We have another question for you. What should we eat or drink in particular if we have the flu? All right, so uh, on the food side, um, the basics, really, everything I've been speaking about so far, a healthy diet. You want to eat like a very healthy individual. And so what that would mean would be fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins. Um, that will provide the basis so that you get all the essential nutrients in to help boost your immunity throughout the flu or the cold cycle that you have. Um, it also works in prevention. So really, same advice that you would give to someone who doesn't have the flu uh, or the cold. Um, in particular, we want to look for... Um, particular minerals and, and micronutrients like uh, iron, right? uh, selenium, zinc, B12, B6. And that might sound like alphabet soup, but if you eat that nice, whole grain, well-rounded, high-protein diet, gonna get you're going to get them. How about a multivitamin to help out? In cases like the flu in particular, where you can't keep much down, it's probably a good idea. It is a good idea. All right. We have one more question. When should we postpone exercise if we are sick, or should we postpone it? It depends what kind of cold or flu you have. Uh, with the flu, generally it comes in so strong and knocks you down. So uh, it's going to be better to get the rest in that case um, before you go and try to exercise. With a cold, the rule is it's above the neck and it's in your face. You have some nasal congestion, go ahead and work out. Research is showing that you can still work out um, and have no compromised immunity uh, as long as you keep it at a moderate level. Oh, um, necking up exercise. If it's below, stay away. And I'll always uh, try to stay away from people if you're contagious. So do that exercise on your own. Right. If you're going to do it, do it at home or on the streets. That's but, right. Um, okay. So above, that's interesting to know. All right. Thanks so much, Dr. Ormsby, Thank you. for joining us. And if we want you to be able to ask Dr. Ormsby or any of our experts anything. So email us your questions, please. News10 at 4 at WTEN.com.